President John F. Kennedy, the first president of the United States to visit the Los Alamos Scientific Laboratory, has arrived. The president is accompanied down the ramp from the helicopter by Clinton P. Anderson, senior senator from New Mexico and the president's official host while he is in the state. Dr. Bradbury welcomes the group to Los Alamos and then escorts them to Wing 9 for the rover briefing. Members of the official party are issued special badges for access to the classified exhibit. Inside Wing 9, the president is joined by the members of the official party who preceded him. Among those meeting the president is Mr. Edwin W. Pauley, regent of the University of California. Before entering the classified portion of the rover exhibit, Dr. Bradbury outlined for the president the major areas of research engaged in by the laboratory. With this group is Dr. Glenn T. Seaborg, chairman of the Atomic Energy Commission. Wing 9 was divided into two exhibit areas, one unclassified and the other classified. The area shown is the unclassified portion and was later opened to the press. It is separated from the classified area by 10-foot high curtains. Included in the various displays for the president to view was a full-size cutaway Kiwi B4 reactor. This was so oriented that the cutaway portion, revealing the reactor core, faced the classified area, and the other half was open to the press so that they might have a close-up view of what is destined to become the first nuclear rocket engine. Models of the rift and Nerva configurations were shown, as well as various types of fuel elements used in the Kiwi reactors. Dr. Amer Schreiber, technical associate director of the laboratory, conducted the classified briefing. The president spent approximately an hour in the rover briefing and meeting the staff of the laboratory. The press photographers were admitted inside Wing 9 shortly before the president left the classified area. Here, President Kennedy and Dr. Bradbury leave the classified area to pose for the photographers. In back of the president is the Kiwi B4 reactor. Dr. Bradbury presented the president with a leather-bound album of color photographs illustrating Project Rover and other laboratory activities, as well as scenes of the Los Alamos community. Vice President Johnson, Chairman Seaborg, Senator Anderson, and Congressman Montoya joined the president in front of the Kiwi mock-up. President Kennedy was described as being deeply impressed by what he saw and heard during the Rover briefing. The president and his party posed for the photographers for about three minutes in front of the reactor. The official party then left Wing 9 to travel by motorcade to the high school football field, where the president was to address the citizens of Los Alamos.